Guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight we thought we'd do a really interesting test inspired by um, Matt not being able to go to his regular golf club yes. in and actually play on, on your nice driving range at Cedar Bray. You had to go somewhere else. It was a little muddy. A little they muddy. Had, they didn't have a, a club cleaning, whatever those uh -huh. are. I forgot my towel as well. So. That's right. So uh, we, we saw Matt's clubs tonight and we literally looked at the 58 degree wedge and it was just caked in mud yes. and grass and covered and everything. And I said to Matt, I said, let's test your wedge in that condition. Mm. Let's test it with the grooves and face full of mud and full of grass and you know all sorts of variables that will interfere with contact and friction and mm -hmm. all the things, guys, that goes into making a well-struck uh, wedge shot perform as it should. Right. Right. So we decided to do three um, separate distances. We'd done a 30-yard pitch shot, we'd done a 60-yard half wedge, and we'd done a full swing with your sandwich of 58 right. degree. Okay, so results were staggering. For me, extremely staggering. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I thought we would see some variables. Uh, what we saw was, was really, really cool to mm -hmm. see. Uh, and really validated the, you know, the, the test that we'd done. I was hoping something like this would happen yep. and we would see some real kind of uh, differences, but uh, what we got was, was actually beyond what I thought it was going to do. Yeah, I would agree with that for great. sure. Yeah. So let's start with the 30 yard one, dirty wedge, clean wedge, okay? So um, both, we, 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 you know, we controlled the carry distance, both was 20, or 29 yards and 30 yards, yep. basically the same. Mm -hmm. So the, initially there was a, an 1100 RPM difference. So you know, some difference. Some, I mean, it's whatever that is, it's around 20% yeah. more spin with the clean wedge. That's it's right. It's not nothing. So, you know, in those short shots, the difference between it kind of being controlled and, and, and mm. pitching and sort of running out yep. or, or, you know, getting that little bit of sp uh, spin that, that you get. So, um, so a little bit there. So off to the next 60 yard one, and I think this was where, you know, our eyes start to open a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So um, the 60 yard dirty wedge, uh, had 5,100 RPMs of spin. Mm -hmm. The clean wedge went up to 8,600. Three, was it? 3,500 yeah. RPMs of difference. That's where um, the flight started to look totally different. Completely different. Yeah. The reaction of the ball was completely different. Mm -hmm. The the clean, uh, sorry, the dirty wedge was super inconsistent. It was. Um, and guys, the, the 5,166 was actually the average right. spin. The, the reality was some spun at 7,000, some spun at 3,000. Yeah. True. So what we saw from Matt was when we were looking at the strike location on the face where he was hitting it, there was a big bit of mud a little bit on the toe side. Mm -hmm. And what we realized was when Matt was catching this one particular part on the face, the spin would literally half. Yeah, or worse. Or worse. Yeah. And uh, the launch would go up. I mean, five degrees of launch uh, separation as well. Um, so a, a massive difference in performance in those. And not, so it's not only worse that there was less spin if you had mud all over your face, mm -hmm. but the fact that it's never going to be uniform yep. and you'll never know exactly what you're going to get, it makes it even worse because you may actually get a spinner out of exactly. that or you may not. In this game, I would always say to people, control what you can control. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cleaning your golf clubs is something you can control. <laughs> you should be able to. Um, Apparently I can't, but you, you should know, be able to. So, and that's, that's something where we can get a little bit more predictability. It's mm -hmm. a hard enough game as it is. So let's go to uh, the, the full swing. Okay, let's see what we saw. So um, 96 yards carry on both. Uh, again, another big difference in launch angle, four degrees in launch. So we've all seen, you know, the way the best players hit these these shots, you know, especially half wedge shots. Right. Something I always notice working with tour players, uh, better amateurs, the the wedge shots come in lower. Okay. With with uh, with a little bit more spin. Right. So, what actually happens is when you get towards the wedge, spin will actually pull the ball down. So the ball is spinning backwards. Yep. So lots of backspin and yep. it actually pulls the ball flight down. Is that like an aerodynamics thing? So basically, it's the, the friction, the friction created between ball and, and club will actually pull the flight down. Oh, physically, I see. Okay. Yeah. So literally, will keep the ball from wow. launching higher. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's funny. You know, obviously, the opposite happens with a driver. So the mm -hmm. more we, the more spin we have, the more it goes up. Right. With a wedge, the more spin we have, the more it comes Holy down. Wow. So that's where you see the best players in the world hitting those lovely controlled low spinning pitches that bounce, bounce, and come to yeah. a stop. That's cool. A, a halt. So um, really, really neat. Um, and then on the clean sort of wedge, 
30 degree launch and it was 1100 and sorry 11293 yeah. rpm so tons more spin so again over 3000 more um you know bringing the the predictability uh, factor you know your ball's going to again bounce bounce stop yeah and we saw the bunch of shots we hit were all basically within what 2 300 rpms of each other yeah, they were those yeah. balls all reacted the same the dirty wedge mm. That they were not nearly as consistent. They, exactly. they still varied and were low and just overall not yeah. good. Like not what you're looking for 100 yards in. You exactly. want to know how far your ball is going to go. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. So controlling some of these variables are, are key. You know, it's, a, it's hard to, you know, hard enough to make a, a consistent strike. But when yeah. you make a consistent strike, at least know that you're going to get a result that, that you kind of deserve for, for that good swing. Yeah. Um, so, you know, friction. Um, that that's That's one of the most... Uh, overlooked, misunderstood things uh, when it comes to the to the wedge. Um, you know, guys, believe it or not, a, a wedge with no grooves mm -hmm. will actually spin more than a wedge with grooves. When it's dry. When it's dry. Okay. Think of it like a you know think of it like a Formula One tire. What do they what do the guys when the track is dry? What tires do the guys run in the Formula yeah, One the car? The slicks with the no, slicks. no tread. No tread. They don't yes. need it, right? So you want you want maximum, um, you know, you want maximum club face on the ball right. at all times. Same, and that that's why they do it on you know the tires as well. Okay. They want they want all the tire on the track. Right. So when you get you know rain in the Formula One and the guys go with uh, go with kind of the all weather tires with the tread in them, mm -hmm. that's just to disperse the matter, the water oh. away from the tire to get that tire back down to the uh, to the close to the track. So it moves the water away and pushes that's the tire. That's it. Down. So it keeps then it keeps the actual tire huh. on the track. Wedges work the exact same way. Wow. It's I trying to get the ball on the face. I didn't know that at all. That's most crazy. yeah, most people think that that you know the groove is there to create spin. Sure, in bad conditions, in, in you know rough and in, in different sort of spots, put put a wedge on the fairway, dry lie, dry ball, no grooves in a dry face will spin higher than uh, a, a wedge with grooves. Wow, I mean, that is crazy. I mean, I would never have guessed that, mm -hmm. but I guess you never really test wedges with perfect lies. I yeah, guess that's yeah. part of it. I mean, here obviously we do. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe that's where that whole conception came from, but that's sure. what I thought as well. Yeah. And you had wedges with milled faces, and you mm -hmm. figured they were just ripping the cover off yep. the ball and spinning it. But wow, that's yep. interesting. Interesting stuff. So, um, you know, we can really control obviously the dirt and our, our, our your clubs and, and that yeah, type of thing. Of so, making sure the face is dry, making sure the face is clean. Yeah. Um, you know, for all those guys out there, you know, we get asked all the time when we're doing our wedges, how do I get the ball to spin a little bit more? Here's, here's one way you do it. The you know, easy the, way. The, here's, the, here's the easiest way you can. Mm. Uh, the second is make a good you know, ball first clean strike. Yep. You know, use a, use a, you know, a high quality wedge. Most wedges um, are you know, high quality uh, and have the capabilities of spinning it and obviously a, a ball with a nice good soft ball. cover. So we were using a Strixon uh, Z-Star. Your golf ball. Yep. So a nice high spinning ball. Mm -hmm. Important to say, if we had have used, I don't know, like a mid range, or the Q Star is yeah. the same brand, but that's a lower spinning golf ball. A little bit lower, but you know, you and I have actually done. Remember, we done a little bit of testing before, and we had done a mid spin golf ball. And we actually still found that on these it decent, conditions, yeah. it was it was quite it was good. Decent. Yeah, it still spun a good amount. So you know, we'll, we'll again build in these series with a More, mid, yeah. you know, with a mid uh, uh, mid level golf ball, like in a slightly cheaper, you know, Q Star or perhaps Project A or yeah. NXT that type of golf ball, that mid range. Because they're designed, I guess, to try to get as much spin as possible while mm -hmm. being. Yeah. Lower, lower compression is that what lower compression and, and obviously you know to a certain budget that right. type of thing gotcha. um so interesting, interesting. stuff I, yeah i, I was mm -hmm. i knew there was a difference because yeah. you've, you've obviously told me there was a difference mm -hmm. but not I and mean, there was that much definitely definitely yeah, very cool um uh, awesome cool guys um any questions about this you know hopefully this is a, an mm. interesting one i and a bit of an eye opener just a fun test you know yeah. we, we a bit of an off the cuff one we decided to do at the end of yeah. the night um, it's valuable you know, though, really I, valuable. I think so. I think, yeah, think people I think so. to see these these types of things. So uh, we, we certainly hope you enjoyed it. Okay, leave your comments below. Yeah. We'll be happy to get back to it and we'll talk to you again soon.